Hey flaunters, it's Shelly from the Fit to Flaunt app and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you a really fun and flirty beginner floor dancing flow. So floor dancing is not only an amazing workout because it will get the heart rate up, but it's really awesome for days where you don't want to get on your pole and you want to just give your body a rest, but you're still in the mood to dance and flaunt your stuff. And floor dancing is also a great way to just work on understanding how to transition from one move to the other and making your dancing more cohesive and fluid. For more floor dancing tutorials and more beginner skills, make sure you download the Fit to Flaunt app. The Fit to Fly app is so much more than just a pole dancing app. We have floor dancing, chair dancing, low flow, hit classes. There's something for everyone. Let's get started. I am not wearing knee pads in this video, but I do have leggings on and I'm a veteran. I've been doing pole dancing for a while, so my knees are a little tough and they're used to it. But I strongly urge you to wear knee pads when working on this flow. So one really cool trick, it's going to look crazy and sound funny, but one really cool trick if you don't have knee pads is to put leggings on and just put a washcloth to cover your knees. The leggings holds it in place. So that's a great workaround until you get your, your knee pads. So let's get started. So we're starting our floor dancing routine standing and we're doing this because I want to teach you how to transition from standing onto the floor. So what we're going to do, we're going to do one sexy hip circle, stick that booty out and slowly bring our hands down. So even if you don't have the mobility to keep your legs completely straight while we try to get our hands on the ground, I'll show you a way that you can bend your knees and still make it look just as sexy. So version one, legs are straight. I'm caressing all the way down and walking it forward. Now, version two. Now, version two, if you don't have that mobility in your hamstrings, we are going to bring it down. Once our hands reach our knees, we're gonna bend the knees, hands down, walk it forward, and then extend. So once we're here, we're going to take one leg, we're going to go towards our midline, bringing it around. Then I'm going to bend my standing leg, toss my hair up as I slide the leg through. From here, I'm going to bring my hip, then my knee to the floor. So I'm bringing my hand over, hip, knee, foot, shotgun. I'm going to push up and back. Once my butt reaches my heel, I'm tossing the hair up. So now we're gonna do one sexy body roll and I'm gonna bring my hands down Slide my body back through my hands. From here, I'm going to do a shotgun. I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to roll on my side. I'm going to extend my leg, swoop around, and then swoop around again. So for a detailed tutorial on the swoop, again, download the Fit to Flaunt app. I go over all the moves in a lot more detail than on this tutorial. So once I've done my first swoop, I'm gonna bend my knees, swoop around again, and bring that leg up. From here, I'm swinging that leg behind me, and I'm allowing my opposite leg to come around. So let's practice that movement a little together, and then we'll add it into the routine. So for the swoop, so we're bringing our leg here, and we're just allowing our legs to cross one at a time over each other, as you can see. So this is a great way to help you switch directions because all you're doing is allowing your leg to cross over the other. So let's start over and see what we have so far. So we're starting standing, we're bringing it down, walking it forward, bringing one leg up towards our midline all the way around, bam, tossing the hair, bringing it over, shotgun, pushing up, back, toss, one sexy body roll, bringing it down, body slides through our hands, shotgun, bending the knees, rotating onto our hip, and we're going to extend, and swoop, extend, and swoop. So after this second swoop, we are going to bring our opposite leg around. 
So once I bring this hand around, I'm going to go into a pike. From my pike, I'm bending my knees, landing on my hips, and extending this top leg so that I'm facing the opposite direction. From here, we're bringing it down, legs extended, and we're gonna incorporate some leg waves. So waving our legs one at a time, making it sexy. So if this is not challenging enough, you can do your leg waves, sorry, on your ass on a platter. So what that looks like is this. So I will do my leg waves in an ass on a platter instead. So for the sake of this video, I'll do my leg waves on the floor. So after our leg waves, we are going to swing our legs down, arching our back to bring it up. And that will be the end of our routine. So now let's try it with some music. So for this routine, I wanted to keep it short and sexy because though it is short, it has a lot of skills that require a lot of repetition to make them look good.